Welcome back everybody to another Python Pandas tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to create charts and graphs using Pandas. A quick note before we get started, if you'd like a good foundation on how to create charts and graphs using Python, check out my matplotlib tutorial series where we have a whole bunch of examples. Using Pandas we have 10 chart examples and we're just going to go ahead and go alphabetical starting with the area chart. The first thing we did is we imported pandas, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and numpy. Next, we've gone ahead and created our data frame. Let's take a look at it. And this is the data that we're going to chart using our area chart. To create the actual chart or plot, we're going to reference our data frame, dot plot, then inside the round brackets, we're going to assign area to the kind. And here we're just using matplotlib to assign some labels, including the title, x and y labels, x and y ticks, and the grid. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. Okay, so you can see over here in the console we get our area chart. Now one thing you'll notice is the way that we create most of these charts, it's going to be pretty much the same as how we have created this area chart here. Where there are differences, I'll try and point those out. Next up, let's go to our bar chart. So once again, we imported pandas, matplotlib, and numpy. We created our data frame. This is the data that we're going to use to create our bar chart. Then, just like for the area chart, we use data frame dot plot kind equals bar. And then here, once again, we use matplotlib to add our labels including the title, the x label, y label, and the x ticks. So let's go ahead and run it, and you can see we have our bar chart. Now one thing to point out, if we comment this x ticks out, if you look at what's on the x axis currently, and then we run it, you can see that it changes to the default numbers. Now we wanted something specific, and we use the list, and the letters, okay? So that's just something to point out. Next up, let's go over the box plot. Now for the box plot, we just import pandas and numpy. We've gone ahead and created our data frame, and for our values, we're going to use random numbers using numpy.random rand. Now here is some information on the rand function. For our column labels, we have A through E. Then, just like the other charts, we use data frame dot plot kind equals box. Let's go ahead and run it. And here we have our box plot. Next up, let's go over how to create a histogram. So we imported pandas, matplotlib, and numpy. Then for our histogram data, we use pandas.series, and for our number values, we use numpy.random rand in. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what the chart looks like, and let's also get an idea of what this data looks like. So here we have our histogram, and here is a preview of the data. Okay? Now, let's take a quick look at the rand in function. This returns a sample, or samples, from the standard normal distribution. So that helps us create what you would normally see in a normal standard distribution histogram. Now another thing to point out, if you want to change the way this histogram looks, one thing you can do is change the number of bins. So currently we have it at 50. Let's go ahead and run that again, and you can see it looks like that. Now if we change it to say 30, you can see a slight difference in the way that the chart is graphed. So normally the more bins that you put in, so let's say 100, it's going to give you a slightly different look. And it's going to make each bar width smaller. Okay. Next, let's go over the horizontal bar chart. We imported all the same modules. 
we have our data frame here. And we use the data frame dot plot kind equals bar h. Notice the h after the bar for horizontal. And in this case, we added a width argument. So let's go ahead and run it. And here is our horizontal bar chart. Now, if you leave this width out and run it, you're going to get skinnier bars. So if you want to make your bars bigger or wider, you can go ahead and put that width argument in. Let's see what 1 looks like. Okay. Now, when you put it on 1, there's no separation in the bars. So let's try 0.9. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, just like with the other charts, we use matplotlib to put in some of our labels. Next up is our line chart. Now, here we have two examples, one using a series and one using a data frame. Now for our series, we use pandas.series, and we put in some random number values starting at 1, going to 100 with the size of 100. So let's take that and copy it, clear our console, and take a look and see what that data looks like. So here is a sample of what our data looks like. Okay. Next, for our index, we're going to use some date time periods, okay? And you'll see what that looks like when we run the program and show the chart. Now to plot this, we use our series dot plot kind equals line. And we added some labels. For the data frame chart, we've done something a little bit different. And we're going to show the chart along with a table showing the actual data that's in the chart. Now to do that, you want to create your figure and your axes and assign plt.subplots. So that creates a figure and a subplot. Then we create our data. And something kind of special in this, you want to use your ax argument that we created here, dot get axis, and you want to set visible to false. Okay? Then finally, you use the data frame dot plot kind equals line. To put in your table, you want to say true, and then set the ax argument to ax. So let's go ahead and run this. Now here is our series chart, and you can see here where we created the dates. That's along the bottom, and here is our data frame chart with all of the lines representing the data and our table below. Now one thing to point out, if you don't put this line in here and you run it, what happens is you can see right here you get some overlapping numbers and that looks kind of funny. Okay, So that's why you want to put that line of code in. Next up, let's go over the pie chart. Okay, so for the pie chart, we're going to use a series and we're going to use this data here. How an average day might be spent. How much time is spent sleeping, working, how much time is for free time, and how much time is for exercise. Okay, so those are the values that we've put in right here. For the index, you want to put in your labels, and then to give the chart a name, you can assign that as a string. To create the pie chart, we use our data dot plot kind equals pie. We put in our figure size, six by six. And then to add the labels to each section of the pie chart, we use auto PCT. So let's go ahead and run this. And here you can see we have our pie chart. Next up is our scatter plot. Now, to create the scatter plot, we created our data frame. We want to see the relationship between study hours and exam scores. To create the actual scatter plot, we use df for data frame dot plot kind equals scatter. And then this might be something that's a little bit unfamiliar. For the x argument, 
we're going to put in our study hours, and for the y argument, we're going to put in our exam score. And of course, we've added some labels. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see over here, that should be scatter plot. We have our scatter plot. Next up is the stacked bar chart. We've gone ahead and imported the normal libraries, pandas, matplotlib, numpy. We have created our data frame. And to create the stacked bar chart, we use dataframe.plot kind equals bar. And then we put in this stacked equals true argument. And then to make the bars just a little bit wider, we added the width of 0 0.8. And of course, here we have our labels. Let's run it. And you can see here is our stacked bar chart. Now let's try something. Let's go back to our horizontal and notice that for the kind, we put in bar H. If we wanna make this stacked bar chart horizontal, let's try and add an H and run it. Okay, that works, we're good to go. Finally, if you want to create subplots, you can do that as well. So here we have our data frame data, and to show those as subplots, all you have to do is use your data frame dot plot subplots equals true, put in your layout, your figure size, put in your share x argument, and a title. Let's go ahead and run it. And here you can see we have our subplots that represents our data frame data here. If you want to change the way this looks, you can play with these arguments just a little bit. Okay, so that's all we have for this Python Pandas tutorial. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.